Hi, I'm Kim Clever with Long and Foster, and I want to welcome you this evening. We're going to be viewing Cam Terra Castle in northern Frederick County. This um, magnificent home is located on a 5.88 acre wooded lot in northern Frederick County. Um, built in 1990 and it is uh, being offered first time, um, original owner, it's being offered for the first time on the market. It's a five bedroom, uh, three full bath, has over 5,000 square feet above grade and uh, lots of other amenities that we'll get to see ins inside. The um, owner has taken really great pride in building this home, um, in keeping the traditional Tudor features to it. As you can see, you've got the tall gables, the um, cross casement windows, the magnificent arched entryway, um, the uh, turret on top sits, and you can see the circular um, side here, actually sits on top of a gorgeous, huge circular stairway in the foyer. Wait till you see that. Um, it's a lot of great features on this home uh, to be presented to you. Also, northern Frederick County, where we are, I mean, it's you can just hear if you listen for a minute crickets locusts out here it's very peaceful very secluded private lot it is on a private road um, but you're really only 10 minutes from the major commuter route in in Thurmont which is route 15 and therefore you're an hour um, from both Baltimore and uh, DC for commuting um, and then lots of uh, Mount St. Mary's you've got all the amenities that are close by um, so let's take a look inside and see what it has to offer so now we're in the foyer, this grand foyer entrance. Um, and you can see the beautiful arch entryways, gorgeous leaded doors, um, like a French door. With one. He's got slate out here, some beautiful kind of traditional Tudor fixtures out there. Come into the foyer area, which is this two-story, gorgeous um, entryway. And he has just um, updated the tile in here and some of the wood working that he's done. Um, and over here, you can just see this beautiful um, spiral staircase. This home has two staircases, two entryways to the, to the bedroom level. This is one of them, and it's just beautiful. Just solid wood, finished by him personally, just gorgeous. Goes all the way up to the hallway upstairs. You can see the, the view from the entryway here into like your family room. Um, that's a wood burning fireplace. Just had that updated with the stone facade on that. Uh, behind that, and we'll go further back in there, you can see the um, dining room. Okay. Beautiful um, windows here off the front. All these windows are the crank out, they crank out, they off screens on them, they're gorgeous. And then back even further, you'll see, we'll go into the kitchen. Um, over here on the other side of the foyer, though, you'll see this is the, one of the half bath, okay? And that adjoins to a bedroom. This is bedroom number five, I'll call it. It is on the main level. It is a nice bedroom in here on the back of the house. Has a shower in the bedroom. Um, it was kind of a mother-in-law um, situation, and so it kind of worked out well to put a shower in here, and then you've got the half bath just outside. You've got a closet. Uh, new carpeting throughout the house. They've updated and have new carpeting throughout. Um, and then we will go back here into the kitchen area and see what's in there. So let's walk back down into the kitchen area. So as you kind of walk down um, this little hallway here, this is the entrance to the uh, unfinished basement. Okay. This is a storage utility closet, kind of a big closet. So we come by there, you can take a peek in there. And then you come into the kitchen area, which is a large eat-in kitchen, new granite counters, new appliances, um, beautifully uh, new backsplash. This is all new also, so they did have some updating in here. Brought it kind of up to uh, up to par. Beautiful off the back here. You've got a nice light here. Two skylights brings in a lot of extra light too. Um, lots of storage. Lots of storage. I mean, this is solid wood on here. Custom cabinets and everything. Nice pantry here. Plenty of space. 
And then it also leads into your dining room area, which is, has a beautiful view also. Bay window in here of the dining room. This is the back of your fireplace. And which leads out to your French doors, which lead out to a two-tiered deck outside on the back. This deck is like 30 feet wide. It's almost the length of the house. Um, I just measured, I want to say it was close to 12, um, 30 long by 12 wide. And then it goes down to a second level down here and then down to the backyard. This was this is new, just added this um, this year. So this was uh, was newly added to the home. And then off the kitchen in the other direction, I'll show you goes to a um, um, kind of a, a, a more of a family room, more of a comfy carpeted as opposed to the wood floor family room, uh, kind of a lounge area. This is your other staircase up to the bedroom level, off the kitchen. So you have dual staircases. This is new carpet here, of course, too. This is kind of a little family room. It's a cozy little room. Has a built-in here. They've got their TV and everything built in. And then these are like your French doors going back out to your, your main foyer area and your, your own fireplace family room area out there. So we're going to go up to the bedroom level, see if I can kind of keep you on track. I get lost sometimes in this house because it's so big. <laughs> so we're going to go up there and, and check that out next. So on the bedroom level, and we came up, we're coming from the spiral staircase side of the house. Okay, so coming up the spiral staircase up to the bedroom. We've got four bedrooms up here and two full baths, one of which is a Jack and Jill between two bedrooms, which is real nice for kids. Um, new carpet on this level also. Fresh paint throughout the whole house. The entire house has been painted. So you've got new paint in all the rooms um, also. And so you're overlooking this magnificent foyer um, also from coming up on this side. And um, so as we go down, um, down this way, we'll go back and look at the bedrooms. So this is your first bedroom, I would say. This is the one that, uh, one of the bedrooms that adjoins the Jack and Joe bathroom. And this is on the back of the house. New carpet again, plenty of, of fixtures, new paint, nice window here. You've got a nice closet with some built-ins. And then it, it goes, flows into the bathroom, the Jack and Joe, you've got double vanity, full-size tub, Fresh paint in here, of course, too. And then you have a separate toilet area with an additional sink, okay? So you can have that kind of closed off. That, that door goes up to the hallway. You have a pocket door here. So you can actually keep this separate so, so a guest could use your toilet area and if somebody's in the shower area. So it's a real nice setup here in between these bedrooms. And then this leads into the other bedroom. So coming back out of this bathroom, this is your other bedroom. Same thing, new paint, fresh carpet. Fresh paint, new carpet, I should say. <laughs> they both have really large closets with a light. How about that? That's really nice. That's a plus in my book to have a light in your closet. Solid wood doors. He did such a nice job on this house, I'll tell you. And then we'll go down to check out the master. Now, come into the master. You've got French doors off the hallway. Watch your step. Come into the master. This is a huge master bedroom. Wood burning fireplace. They just um, updated the facade on here. Fresh carpet or fresh paint, new carpet. Large room. Has a really great master closet here. Walk-in closet. Has some built-ins throughout here. And this leads into your bathroom. You can go into the master bath from this way. Okay. Nicely, this was also updated. New flooring. This is a this was all redone. New shower. This was all done. This was an original pink bathroom. <laughs> and he redid it, turned out beautifully. So this is all new in here. Soaking tub. This is off the front of the house. We're looking at the front of the house here. Nice little sitting area there. 
And then here's your French doors that go back into your master. So you're coming out of the master here into the hallway. This is kind of like the other end of the hallway. And so here's your stairs coming up from the kitchen level. And then you have this door which kind of separates to almost like a separate wing of the house. Okay. So come on in this side. Behind that door is a nice storage closet which is under this staircase. This staircase leads up to the attic. So it's a walk-up attic, and I'm going to show you that space because it's incredible. But before you get to that, we do have a, uh, a fourth bedroom here. This is also on the front of the house. Lots of light in here, fresh paint, new carpet. Does have a nice closet also. So that's your fourth bedroom on this level. And then back in this corner is your laundry, your full-size laundry. It's a huge laundry area. Okay, some extra cabinets, and it's it's kind of, um, you can make some changes in here. You've got your laundry sink up here, but that's a nice big laundry room. And then I want to show you this attic space. Um, so let's go up and look at the attic space for just a second. So in this attic, unfinished, okay, it was walk-up, full-size walk-up stairs, and it's just an incredible amount of space. And I just look and think about the potential, the opportunity, you know, maybe a master suite up here, certainly kids room, playroom, um, nicely insulated, um, not air conditioned, but certainly can put air conditioning, those windows will certainly accommodate an air conditioner. But it's a huge space, I just want to show it to you because it's not included in square footage. I bet it's at least, uh, I'm going to say probably a thousand square feet up here that could be finished off for additional rooms. So um, that's your bedroom level, level and your attic level. And um, we're going to go see some of the outside space and some of the garage, garage space over there, too. So we're going to go into the detached garage and just show you the amount of space in there. Um, this is a little uh, kind of breezeway in between the house and the garage. This goes into, um, just give you, this is kind of a side door if you're coming from your garage into the side. Whoops. So you've got two entryways. This is off your garage, I guess you would say, your side entrance to the home. And then into your garage. This is, oh, like a four, I would say a four car oversized garage. Huge amount of space down here, okay? And then we have additional space upstairs on top of this that we're gonna go look at. New garage doors, all right? And, um, and then we'll bust upstairs and take a look at the upper, upper side of it also. So this is the, um, second level of the detached garage okay you've got a new deck here new decking and leads down if you can follow this out there leads to a walkway where you have separate parking for this also you see you have additional parking covered parking out there um and then come down in here you've got a nice separate deck here and this leads into right till you see this space unfinished completely unfinished which means you can do whatever you like in here. Anderson windows throughout. Um, it's, it's 700 square feet on this level, and the, the, the garage downstairs is 700 square feet. I mean, you know, apartment, mother-in-law suite, your own business, um, daycare, whatever you, I mean, the possibilities are endless in here. Um, <clears throat> so this is another space that I thought was really worth seeing. So that's our tour of Camterra Castle. Um, Want to just recap on some of the updates that the owner has done to get it on market ready. We have fresh paint throughout. We have a new carpet throughout. Uh, kitchen has granite upgraded. We've got updated appliances in the kitchen. Um, we have um, the HVAC. It's a dual zoned system. One of the units is about three years old. One is one year old. Uh, we have new garage doors he's put on. A hot water heater is brand new. Um, just a number of things that he has really gone through and, and gotten so that it is market ready. So I'm glad you joined me and uh, if you have any questions, call me for a showing or call your agent for a showing. You can reach me at 443-604-4162 and thanks for watching.